Save up on your electricity bill with Solco Solar Water Heaters. A few days ago, details of garbage being brought into the country in the guise of importing coriander came to light. The company, Agronica Trade, had imported eight containers on the 10th of this month and 20 containers on the 21st of this month. The value of these containers without the customs tax is approximately 75.6 million rupees. 24 of the garbage containers in the custody of customs are at the Colombo port, while four others are being held at the customs inspection yard. The customs spokesperson Sunil Jayaratna said that investigators Investigations are being conducted regarding the garbage containers that were imported. Statements recorded by the intermediaries agents and clearance agents revealed that with information regarding the garbage containers coming to light, the companies that exported the containers had instructed the banks to halt the payments that are due. A number of institutions are due to be called to conduct a scientific investigation on the substances in the containers. The investigations will reveal the content of the containers and the presence of any insects that would be harmful to the environment. We attempted to find details about the Ukrainian company that exported the containers to Sri Lanka. However, the contact number and the fax number of the company are non-responsive. We have identified that the containers include agricultural waste. The Sri Lanka Customs is investigating this matter. The Ukrainian Basel Point has been notified of this. Countries that signed the Basel Convention are bound not to send garbage to other countries without their express consent. There were many containers with clinical waste that were brought into the island. There were 208 containers. Who brought these containers into the country? What is the company that brought it down? Who is the head of that company? Who supported them? Who are the politicians who supported them? If the leaders of the companies who brought down the clinical waste in the containers were brought before a court and punished, something like this would have never happened. Today, this country is turning into a garbage dump with each passing day.